Do you want to maintain your privacy, but still create killer YouTube videos that are extremely easy to make, save you a ton of money on recording equipment, and are consistent in quality. Look no further because in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can easily create faceless videos using AI text to speech, automatic subtitles, stock video libraries, and more. In this example, we'll be using Veed Simple Online Video Editor to make this happen. So let's get straight in. So we just started a new project within Veed's editor and we can instantly get started. We can upload a video. We can start from scratch by starting with a blank canvas or we can even choose one of the amazing videos in the video stock library, which I will show you later how you can do it. In this case, I'm gonna start with a blank canvas. The cool thing about Veed's editor is that you can create a complete faceless video with all the tools provided. So for this faceless video, I want to create a text-to-speech video about squirrels. So to get started, I want to create audio. However, I don't want to record it myself. I don't want to record my own voice. So how to solve that? Well, fortunately, we can create text-to-speech fragments. So to make this happen, all you need to do is head over to media or audio. Then we're gonna click on text-to-speech and you will see an interface open. From here, you can easily choose one of the languages. There are many you can choose from. And the same counts for voices. You can choose between many different voices. You can easily click on the play button next to the name to listen to what it sounds like. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Next, let's see what Eric sounds like. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Nice, so I like this one, I'm gonna select it. And on the bottom, you have the text box in which you can type or paste your text in. You can type in whatever you like and you can click on preview to listen to what it sounds like. Hello. In this example, I'm just gonna copy and paste a part of a script. Let's copy it, go back and paste it in the text box. Then all you need to do is click on add to project and then the text to speech fragment will be created. Now, if you take a look at the bottom timeline, you will see the text to speech fragment is created. And if I play back the video, you can hear it back. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most beloved creatures in our parks and backyards, squirrels. And just so you know, you can create as many text-to-speech fragments with different languages and voices as you like. So once you created your text-to-speech fragments, you can edit them the way you want. For instance, if you click on the text-to-speech fragment, you will see an edit audio menu pop up. You can easily adjust the audio or adjust the speed. And very helpful, if you think the pauses in between the sentences are too long, you can simply click on remove silences and it removes all the long pauses. However, of course, you can still choose to manually trim or extend or shorten the layers in the timeline menu. To make the video more engaging and accessible, we can turn the text-to-speech fragments into text or subtitles. You can do this manually through the text editor within Veed or more convenient through the subtitle editor in which you can automatically subtitle your text-to-speech fragments and be able to further edit them through the subtitle boxes. And just a quick tip, but if you're creating a very long video or you have a lot of separate text-to-speech fragments in your sequence, you can also easily choose to export your text-to-speech audio as a separate audio file. And once you download it as an mp3 file to your device, you can head back to your editing project, upload the audio file into your project, and automatically transcribe the entire text-to-speech audio file in just a few clicks. Either way, now if I play back the video, you will see the subtitles are created and they're synced with the audio of the video. Of course, no matter if you created your subtitles manually or automatically, you're completely free to edit your subtitles the way you want. Now, if you want to further spice up your text or subtitles, you simply head over to styles in the subtitles menu. From here, you can easily choose one of the amazing subtitle presets. However, you can also manually change the font, the sizing, the color, the background color, you can add effects, and you can even add subtitle animations in just a click of a button. For this example, I don't wanna to waste too much time. I'm gonna choose one of the presets with a built-in animation already. I'm gonna select this one, looks pretty cool. All I want to do is make it a little bit bigger. There you go, and if I play back the video, lovers. Today we're going to talk- It looks awesome. Then the last thing we want to do to bring this faceless video to life is add stock footage. Fortunately, Veed has a built-in video and audio stock library. To find it, all you need to do is head over to media in the left menu. Then in the menu, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the stock video library and the stock music library. You can use the given categories to find footage. However, if you want to find something specific, you can use the search bar. For this example, of course, I want to find videos that are related to squirrels. So I'm gonna type that in. And as you can see, there are many you can choose from in this case i'm going to select this one if i click on it it will be automatically added to the project now if i play back the video you will see the video play in the background as you can see the subtitles and hear the text to speech fragments and backyards 
In the bottom timeline menu, you can easily trim your footage. You can just extend or shorten it a little bit. And you can further edit the video by clicking on the video file. And then you see an edit video menu pop up. You can, for instance, add pretty cool animations, or you can make it a little bit darker to see the text better, for instance. You can round the corners, change the opacity. You can rotate the video or flip it, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna save you time, but for this example, I'm just gonna repeat the process and add more scroll related videos that I find in the video stock library. And there you have it. So now we created our faceless video. I'm very proud of it. Now, if you want to export it, all you need to do is head over to done in the right top corner. Then you can choose your preferred render settings. In this case, I'm gonna choose HD. And then all you need to do is click on export video. Then once the video is rendered, you can easily host and share your videos through Veed, or you can download your video as an MP4 straight to your device. And that's it for this video. That's how you easily create a faceless video using text-to-speech. I hope this video was helpful. For now, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and see you next time.